What's up everybody, Bobby here, the Geek Guru, coming directly at you. Uh, that was corny, I know, but please forgive me. Uh, geek definitely Guru, I don't know. Anyway, the Nintendo Direct just finished probably 10, 15 minutes ago. Came upstairs and I wanted to do some recording as quickly as possible. I still had things fresh on my mind. Ultimately, I don't feel like it was a huge successful direct. I feel like uh, it was so-so, you know, or whatever. I felt like there was always been much better directs. I felt like this one was just to say, hey, like, hey, we're here. We have stuff coming. This is coming and this is coming and this is coming. Rather than discuss the things that I didn't like and all that stuff, I just want to touch on the things that I really liked that I thought were uh, really exciting. For me, the topper of it all, it didn't come until halfway through the episode, um, was the Super Nintendo games coming to the 3DS. Like, I have always wanted to play A Link to the Past on the go, Super Mario World on the go, and I've never been able to. Now we're able to. Starting today, uh, we get Pilot Wings, uh, Super Mario World, and F-Zero, which are welcomed additions. Wave 2, which is going to hit on March 24th, is going to be Mario, Super Mario Kart, great game, um, Earthbound. You know I'm excited about some Earthbound on a portable device, and I already have it. I don't care. I'm buying it again, and I'm going to play it again. Believe that, because I'm telling you right now... <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm excited for more Earthbound. Just the fact that I can grab it and go and have fun with it, like, sign me up all day long. Followed up finally with Donkey Kong Country. That's coming out the 24th. They finalize it Wave 3, and I hope that Wave 3 isn't the end. I hope they continue to bring more as we continue forward. But Wave 3 is the, is the crown jewel, I feel. I feel like that's the best wave of them all when you're looking at a Link to the Past, best Zelda game ever. I said it, called it here first. You guys may not like that, but it's just how I feel. Toby agrees with me, and that's all that matters. Um, <laughs> Super Metroid is number two. Great, great Metroid game. Probably one of the best Metroid games of them all. Donkey Kong Country 2, solid game, soup to nuts. So I was happy about seeing the Super Nintendo stuff come along. For me, the one that was a shocker that I didn't think I would get kind of excited about, but I did, was Paper Mario. Like, I looked at that game and I was like, wow, this game looks charming. It looks phenomenal. Like, the graphics look really good on it. Because I like that HD that Wii U is bringing out of it and, and, and all that. Like, it just looked really good and polished. I was happy to see that, so I'm happy. I'm very happy about it. Um, Metroid Prime Federation Force. Now, I know that this got a lot of heat at E3 and after E3 and people flipping out. After watching like a little extended piece of this, I kind of want to see more. Like it's one of those games that I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not against it per se. I just want to check out more. It's kind of got an MMO feel, which I like. I, I kind of like that. You know, it's something that I feel like myself and Toby, possibly Alan, probably not, but definitely probably uh, Mark from the Warp Whistle. Um, a, a few of us can get together and really go at it and have a good time with this game. Those of us that are in the Geek Guru group, I know you guys are going to get this game. I don't care what anybody says. I know that we'll support this game. We'll get it. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I just have a feeling the way I, this look, I was more open to it. Now, I'm not one of the ones that were rallying against it and ready to jump off the top of my roof when they announced this at E3. I was one of the, wait and see what they have for this. Let's like give it time. Let's see what's going on here. I'm starting to lean towards it and liking it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, one other thing that I really, really enjoyed and I liked seeing was the Kirby Amiibo. Now I'm not a huge Kirby fan by any, any, any stretch of the imagination, but I will say this. After the whole gold Mega Man thing, and it was kind of just like, eh. I kind of felt like Nintendo wasn't going to do a new series with a new style and it was nice to see them grab the Kirby amiibo and say okay here we go like Kirby sitting on the star is it's it's adorable you know what I mean like people are going to look at this and go this is awesome like kids are going to love it women are really going to love it 
all Kirby fans are just gonna love it. Like Star Fox is not delayed. It'll be here next month. And they also have the games, an additional game in which Miyamoto worked on and showed it a couple of E3s ago. So um, I'm, I'm like, this is, we'll see. You know, I don't know. I like the two player co-op that they showed off. I thought that was an interesting aspect to it. I thought like, okay, let's see what happens here. Uh, actually my wife, after she got done seeing it was like, that's kind of interesting. Like I want to take a look at this game. So I see us co-oping this game and, and enjoying it. So that co-op is a welcome experience. I think it, it what it does is it almost gives the Star Wars feel. Like Han Solo piloting, Chewbacca jumps in the back and he's shooting. I think we're gonna have some cool stuff with that. Uh, the exciting thing about this was there was no leaks. Like, this is the first time a direct has happened in a long time that we got no leaks whatsoever. Everything was fresh and in our face and all that stuff. All in all, I don't think it was the greatest direct at all. I felt like it was kind of weak, um, but at the end of the day, like I, the information they gave us, we had 40 minutes of information. I'm cool with it. Just need to digress and kind of unpack it all and see where we're at. Again, there were some highlights for me, the Super Nintendo stuff, like I'm really happy about that. I really want to play that stuff. The Met Metroid Federation Force, I was happy to see that. I was hoping to see a little clip of Zelda again, but that's fine that we didn't. It is what it is. I think that we're gonna see, you know, you're looking at this that obviously Paper Mario is probably gonna be the one big hit, a well with Star Fox. So I think we're gonna have Star Fox, Paper Mario, and then Zelda will cap it off and that'll be the final Nintendo games on the Wii U as we head into the NX. We'll find out more soon, I know that. That is all, how did you guys like to direct? Please let me know, comment down below and all that good stuff. Uh, follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at the Geek Gurus. Peace, mother.